2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Hello basketball fans, you've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. With Brett Berry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. It's the Chicago Bulls taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. So the Bucks win the tip. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Rodman is out there with Pippen. Then it's Jordan. Then there's Harper. And it's Longley in at the five, home in the paint. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Now here's Jordan. Outside Pippen. Pass to Hart. The three. Antetokounmpo grabs the miss. And it's Antetokounmpo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. We have a step back. And Middleton with the nice bucket inside. Well, at 235 pounds, Middleton is hard to throw off balance, so he can take that contact and still finish through. Passes it to Rodman. Jordan against Matthews. No good from Jordan. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. I caught up with the Bulls head coach. Talked about the difficulty defending the Greek freak and said, you've got to dare Giannis into jump shots. When he gets around the rim, you're done for. There is no question that when he sees the rim, Kevin, it's lights up. Thank you, David. Are you going there weak like that, and a guy like Giannis with his length is going to throw it away? Matthews against Harper. Outside, Rodman. Jordan inside, guarded by Bledsoe. Lock at six, and Jordan gets it to go. Yeah, high percentage look for Jordan. It has every move you could ask for in the painted area. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Bledsoe outside, down low, and to Takumbo. And onto Takumbo, slams it in. Yeah, but I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk. Than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Now here's Rodman. He feeds it to Jordan. And it's sent back by Lopez. Oh, that's out of there. Not a high riser, but Lopez using his frame, a smart block, if you will. Now, how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Here's Jordan. Outside Pippen. Time for Jordan. That doesn't go either for Jordan. Now one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Back to Anadokounmpo from 11 feet away. Rebounded by Rodman. <laughs> when you are wrapped up that tightly in the mid-range, you are better off just moving the ball. Yeah, that's one where you hope if he gets in there the next time, he, he makes a different choice. Now here's Jordan. Kicks to Harper. Lets it go with a three. Drains it from beyond the arc. A tough matchup for the smaller defender there. Just shot right over the top without thinking twice. Pass to Middleton. And here in the first quarter with a little over three and a half minutes played. Back to Bledsoe. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Look, it's nice to be a tough, small guy in this league. If you're built like Eric Bledsoe, the contact... No effect. Harper against Bledsoe. And here's Longley. 
Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Jordan's shot is off. But his shooting this quarter has to be a huge concern, especially when they're behind like this. Can he find the rhythm? Outside, Harper. He dishes it to Pippen. Shot clock at five. Over Middleton. And it's Pippen missing. The defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. And Middleton right now staying aware of where his teammates are and hitting them when they're open. Here's Harper. Kicks to Pippen. Outside, Rodman. The pass to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. Here's Longley. Some solid defense from Anadokounmpo. On offense here, the Bucks. They're on a 13-5 run here. Wudso for three. Chicago grabs the miss. Jordan with it. Pass to Longley. And the rejection by Giannis. The shot by Bledsoe. Nobody around. Pass to Matthews. Bledsoe outside. Bledsoe can't get that one to drop. Bulls trail by eight. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Pippen. And it's Eric Bledsoe with the rebound. And so it's Bledsoe. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. And onto Dacumbo, screws it in. Yeah, you could throw that pass just about anywhere, Kevin. Even the top of the square for Giannis to go and get. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. And Coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring. And if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Wesley Matthews. Here's Jordan. And the rejection by Giannis. They could use a bucket. Here's Rodgers. Oh, the power on that through down. Goodness. Unreal. And, and how about the offensive rebound with a little extra punch on the putback? You're right, Greg. As they look to trim the deficit, could we see them send a few more bodies to the boards from here on out? Maybe. Just maybe. Shots good by Middleton. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Bulls trail by 10. Jordan the pass to Pippen. Back to Jordan. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Yep, that one goes. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. To the paint, here's Middleton. It's deflected. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pippen against Bloodsoe. Pippen dishes to Harper. Long way down low. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Rodman. And the rejection by Giannis. Pass to Connaughton. All alone. That's good on the jump shot. Nice pass here to set that basket up. Bulls trail by 10. Now Jordan. From 13, he gets that one. And when we think about the excitement that Jordan brings to the game, but, but what about the offensive fundamentals? The, the, the man is a perfectionist. Now here's Lopez to the inside. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Dennis Rodman picks one up. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. The Bucks shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. Two shots. Two shots. Last on the first. 
No good on the free throw. Well, a little bit each year, Giannis gets fouled at a higher and higher clip. That shows about how much more aggressive and how much more confident and how much more usage he's had through his first few seasons. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Ilyasova, he's checked in for Lopez. Korver comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Hill in for Eric Bloodsell. And he sinks the second. Bulls trail by nine. Outside, Kukoc. There's the pass to Simpkins. Picked his pocket. Here's Connaughton inside. Hill kicks to Connaughton. Pass to Corfe. Here's Connaughton. Bushler's check in for Jordan. To the middle. That's good from Ilya Sova on the assist by Hunter de Kumbo. And the Bucks lead by 11. Now here's Kukoc. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all picking sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. You love the pressure he's putting on them. Almost had that steal. Yeah, pestering right now, and that's going to pay some dividends. At some point, there's going to be a turnover. Passes it to Kerr. Here's Simpkins. Right side, Kukoc. He kicks it to Kerr. Down to five on the shot clock. The dish to Kukoc. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off the shot. 24-second violation. Bucks leading by 11. Outside Korver. Here's Connaughton. Outside Corver, four on the clock. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Hill against Kerr. And the whistle blows. It'll be on Pat Connaughton. That is his first foul of the game. Outside, Kukos. It's so about it's a Kumbo. Yeah, three turnovers so far, and the real issue is the fact that they're unforced, too careless with the basketball. Yeah, don't let Giannis get a step on you. His one step counts for three sometimes, and he's gone. Now, here's Kerr. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Kukos passes to Wennington. Here's Bushler. Six to shoot. Kerr kicks to Kukoc. Can they get it? Can't hit that one. Now the Bucks take it the other way. Under Dekumbo looking over the floor. 
We've got 108 left to play here in the first. And the jump by Giannis. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. Well, how good have they been on the inside tonight, just getting down into the painted area and just dominating, controlling that spot. And Chicago has possession, following the bucket by the Bucks. Here's Bushler, just five to shoot. Back to Kerr. It's Solenbad, it's a Kumbo. Dishes it to Hill. 29 seconds left in the first quarter. And Ilyasova kicks to Hill. Five on the clock. And it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. And here's Kerr. No points in the game yet for him. On the wing, Kukoc. From 17 feet out, the shot comes out. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. So as we end the first quarter, already a double-digit ball game. The Bucks on top, leading by 17. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. Guys, we've seen the Bucks really take control here early. Well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. So for Chicago right now, they've got Tony Kukoc. Rodman is out there with Wennington. Then there's Bushler, and it's Kerr in at the point. It's stolen by Corver. And now the fast break. Hill with the ball. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alden. Well, guys, Giannis Adentacumpo is the reigning MVP. He's the second Bucks player to win it since Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And he's the third youngest MVP in league history. Kevin, he's just scratching the surface of what he'll do in this league. You said it, D.A., and some good facts in your report, too. Thank you. George Hill is a gear-shifting, versatile guard and has some size and a good perimeter defender with that length. Pass to Bushler. Kicks it to Kukoc. Now the pass to Wennington. And the rejection by Giannis! The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Outside for Korver. Pass to Connaughton. Launches a three. And Giannis throws it down. And Giannis just gobbling up the rebound, just spreads his wing out there, and the ball falls right into it. Here's Bushler, guarded by Korver. Passes to Kerr. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. And the rejection by Giannis! And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Matthews, he's checked in for Pat Connington. And so onto the Kumba will bring it up for the Bucks. Outside Hill. Pass to Giannis. Puts it up from seven. And again, it's Milwaukee converting. Yeah, Giannis has the hard hat on right now, going to work. So good, so long. Just terrorizing the deep. Here's Bushler. The pass to Kerr. They need this. Buries the long-range jumper. Kerr's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And, guys, there are some you can give that shot to, 
But, but let's be clear, he's not one of them. Terrible job there by the D. Offensive rebound, Ilyasova. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Ilyasova's got his second bucket of the game to go. Outside, Kukoc. Takes the three. Rebound, Milwaukee. Andre DeCumbo has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, looking up at the scoreboard, guys, that's his third foul, and his coach has to consider now sitting him down. Bulls making a switch here. Pippen's checked in. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Outside Matthews. And a great assist by Antetokounmpo as that one goes in. Giannis has got three assists now in this one. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now. Just flat, Greg. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. Lopez is checked in for the Bucks. Chris Middleton comes in for Kyle Korver. Luke Longley's checked in for the Bulls. Jordan comes in for Kukoc. Pulls it up. And the Bulls with another miss. And it's Milwaukee's ball. They're on a 12-3 run right now. Shots good by Middleton. Sprinting up the floor and beating everyone down. That's the reward for Chris Middleton. Pass to Pippen. Jordan with it. Under the Kumbo defending. Yep, it counts. And it's six points for Jordan. And that play never gets old, Kevin. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple a hundred years from now. Trust me. Bounce pass from Hill. Under the Kumbo against Jordan. Six on the shot clock. Here's Lopez. Lays it up and banks it in. Lopez has got his first pass. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Now here's Jordan. He has six. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's slashing there by Jordan. Gets up to speed in a hurry. Just impossible to stay in front of. It's his first trip to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better, mentally in terms of effort and in terms of their performance. Eric Bledsoe has checked in for the Bucks. And a change for the Bulls. Ron Harper, he's checked in for Kerr. And the second free throw, good. Matthews with it. Passes it to Bledsoe. With the teardrop. Rodman grabs the miss. Rodman's got four rebounds in this game. Outside Harper. Pass to Pippen. Just four to shoot. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Yeah, Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off. Feels like no one can guard him down low. For Chicago, they have converted one of two free throws so far today. One shot. That free throw good from Pippen. Pippen simply put, one of the best small forwards of all time. A defensive powerhouse and a fearless score. Lutzo passes to Matthews. 
Harper against Bledsoe. Drops in the layup for two. Bledsoe's got six points. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Outside, Rodman, and the pass to Longley. He dishes it to Jordan. Second chance shot. Kept alive. Here's Rodman. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. Bledsoe against Harper. There's the feed to Middleton. Goes straight through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. Middleton doing a good job of being creative and finishing a difficult look. The Bucks shooting their fourth shot at the foul line here. One shot. One shot. And that one falls for Middleton. The versatility Middleton offers up is exceptional. A capable defender, a good scorer, an effective shooter. These are the kind of switchblade players the coaches love. Now here's Jordan. He has seven. Sweet little floater. Nine points in the game so far. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater. Boy, those sure are pretty. And it's out of the Kumbo, top of the key. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. The Bucks shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. And last season, 77% from the line. They could usually get the job done there. One shot. One shot. Now, Jordan... Nine points in the game so far. Outside Pippen. Back to Jordan. Pass to Longley. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a scorer like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. The Bucks shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. He hits one and misses one each at the line. Just Eric Bledsoe, when he's in these games, and, and you can see he's got hyper-focus, he can become a big, big problem. Athletic, plays both ends of the floor, and that power from him at the guard position is, is very unique. Now here's Rod. Jordan inside. Giannis is there. No good from Jordan. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the chart. Middleton's not a selfish player, always willing to share the wealth. Here's Pippen. He has five. Inside. And it's sent back by Lopez. And stolen by Jordan. Bledsoe with the defensive effort. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he laid it straight up and in. 
count it. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Harper. That one, no good. Bledsoe with a defensive effort. Here's Middleton. And a great assist by Adetokounmpo as that one goes in. And that's 13 points for Chris Middleton. Middleton's gone 6 or 7 from the field here, getting just about everything to drop. Jordan dishes to Harper. Pass to Longley. Just five on the clock. It's so inbound to Kumbo. Now here's Bledsoe. He's got seven. Lopez finds Giannis. And the jam by Antetokounmpo. I think Giannis loves that kind of stuff right there. His dunks sometimes get vicious. Chicago with the ball. Pippen, the pass to Jordan. Gets the 14-footer to fall. Jordan's got 11 points. Well, well, he knew how many inches he had over the guy. I mean, let's face it. Good decision to just rise up and take the jump shot. And they double up Giannis. That one go. Let's count it. He's got five. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Outside Rodman. Pass to Harper. Outside Jordan. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Five to shoot. Pippen with it. Now guarded by Middleton. And it's Pippen missing. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Lopez with the block. But they get it back. Harper against Bloodsoe. The second chance effort. Harper the pass to Longley. Over Lopez. Now the Bucks moving it up. And the slam dunk by Hunter Tacumbo. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Adetokounmpo against Harper. Rodman up top. Ball's knocked loose, and it's out of bounds. They say last touch by Bledsoe. Milwaukee making a switch here. Connaughton's checked in. The Bulls also changing it up. Simpkins, he's checked in for Longley, and it's Kukoc in for Rodman. Shot clock at five. Here's Pippen. No good there. Great D that time for Middleton. Wouldn't surprise me to see him find his touch and still be a factor. Don't count them out yet. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Oh, guys, one of the things that the NBA has been forward thinking about is always accepting new ideas. And they've got a bunch of them on the table in recent weeks. A mid-season tournament, a postseason play-in tournament, maybe even reducing the 82-game regular season schedule. Now, all of these would be very bold moves, but Commissioner Adam Silver has always demonstrated a willingness to think outside the box. Kevin? DA, great assessment. Good report. Thank you so much. Ilya Sova, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Corver comes in for Chris Middleton. Chicago also making some changes. Wennington, he's checked in for Pippen. And Kerr subbed in for Ron Harper. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Jordan no good on the free throw. Well, it's interesting to watch him because he's putting his body on the line to get to the line. We didn't see this during the first quarter, but he's making up for it here. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. 
Now here's Kukoc. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And there's the pass to Wennington. And that one is stuffed right through. Yeah, and what you love about Kukoc is the versatility on offense and the terrific court vision. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Kerr, the pass to Simpkins. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. The Bulls shooting their fifth and six free throws of the game. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. Hill, he's checked in for Milwaukee. That one misses. And so he'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Sinks that one from the post. Hill's got seven points. Yeah, we don't talk about George Hill being a slick ball handler, but on that play, shows you maybe some of the things he's worked on in the offseason. Here's Jordan from deep. No good on the last second attempt there. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. The Bucks on top, opening up a huge gap. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. A tremendous game we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. He had 27 points, 8 assists, and also 3 steals. His last game out, he was just not himself. But tonight, he has rounded right back into form with a very solid first half. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? We're seeing the Giannis effect. First player to ever finish in the top 20 in all five major statistical categories. Come on, man. Are you kidding me? It doesn't speak for his overall impact, but I just want to tell you that's impressive. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Chicago? Well, it's no wonder they're getting blown out. No energy, no fight in the rebound battle. Ernie, you got to pick it up. You got to pick it up starting now, or it's going to be impossible to come back. Like the Pythagorean theorem, times 50, times 100, times 50, times 10. Impossible to figure out, Ernie. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. There wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You look at Enetokounmpo, and this game has been everywhere. Well, it didn't take him long to get that double-double. Already has it halfway through the game. Yeah, guys like him love to stuff the stat sheet. He's doing it here. Now we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade. All field up for the second half. On the court for the Bucks. The backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthews. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. And it's Lopez in at the center. And it's a Kumbo. Watching that guy put on a burst of speed, he takes up so much of the floor. And a burst by Giannis. And here is Jordan. And the basket is good. He's got 15. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. And, and when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, my man is going for the jugular. The Bucks have gone 5 of 7 from the free throw line in the game. One shot. Free 
free throw, no good for Adetokounmpo. And the Bulls with possession. And slam dunk by Jordan. And we've seen it. He can do this all game. Jordan with a great burst there to get the finish. Matthews with it. For the three. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Longley's got four rebounds now tonight. Down low. And then Rodman with the dunk. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding at rising up off the ground. Outside Matthews. Clock at four. From deep three-point range, the Bucks getting another chance here. Chalk up two there, and that's now 33 points for Giannis. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. And they double up Jordan. Harper the pass to Rodman. Back to Harper. Fires from deep. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Harper's gone only one of five shooting from the floor. Here's Antetokounmpo. Here's Lopez. No luck. They battled on the glass but couldn't knock it down. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for him. That's something they've got to fix. While the defense has been good, a lot of these turnovers have been unforced. Harper against Bledsoe. Harper kicks to Jordan from the arc. Here's Longley. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Matthews against Jordan. Outside Matthews. And stolen by Jordan. Another shot. Ante Tacumbo pulls it in. Ante Tacumbo's got 15 rebounds here tonight. Got a piece of it. Middleton looking it over. And here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way. And it's sent back by Bledsoe. 6-1 guard. Bledsoe up there with the block. Wow. Pippen against Middleton. Pass to Lopez. Over Harper. Lopez with the bucket. He was wide open, but just to make sure, he put a little fade on that jumper. Outside Harper. Trying to get something going. And he makes that one. Harper's got five. If you give him an inch of space, he's going to make you pay. And so it's Budso. He brings it up for Milwaukee. Passes to Lopez. He kicks to Antetokounmpo. And it's good. Two points. Antetokounmpo's got eight points in the quarter. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Pass to Jordan. Got it. Good job in the low post. Now, Matthews, he has five. There's the dish to Middleton. Matthews against Jordan. Matthews passes to Bledsoe. Just five on the clock. Milwaukee needs to get off a shot here. Here's Antetokounmpo, and Giannis throws it down. Sometimes it takes a while for all that length in Giannis to catch up to those feet, but once he does, man, he can explode. Harper the pass to Rodman. Here's Jordan, and he uses the glass on the layup. Yes, Jordan's got 21. Rabbit's foot in the shoe that time got lucky because the pick has to be better. It made no impact, but they still got the score. The pass to Bledsoe. A double team blood so. Oh, 
Oh, that's blocked. And they get it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. A different look for Milwaukee. Ilyasova, he's checked in for Lopez. Pat Connaughton comes in for Wesley Matthews. And it's Hill in for Eric Bledsoe. Kukoc, he's checked in for Chicago. Bushler comes in for Scotty Pippen. And they double up Jordan. Pass to Bushler. Shoots the three. Knocks down the three ball. And Harper brings a lot of physicality to the table. Also solid at cutting the D apart with his passing. Anacumbo kicks to Connaughton. Here's onto Takumbo, and he battles for the ball and gets the second change bucket. Giannis has got 39. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. And they double up Jordan. Here's Harper. He has five. To the paint. Here's Rodman. Whistle blows. Bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Well, recognizing the size mismatch and then turns it into an easy basket there. They've got to do a better job with defensive help. Chicago shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. Milwaukee making a switch here. Corver's checked in, then for the Bulls. Wennington comes in for Jordan, and Steve Kerr is subbed in for Harper. And Rodman, no good on that one. And as a free throw shooter, Rodman has his challenges. One of those guys who almost shoots a better percentage from the field. And it's Giannis missing. Chicago with the ball. Two coach with it. Now guarded by Giannis. Passes it to Wennington. Here's Bushler. Pass to Kerr. On the wing, Kukoc. On to Kumbo, defending. For three, Kerr. That's pretty much all length from George Hill to get to that rejection. Simpkins, he's checked in for Chicago. Dickie Simpkins. Now, here is Hill. Seven points in the game. Corver kicks to Hill. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Hill's got nine points. And George Hill using his arms there to keep that possession alive. There's the pass to Kukoc. Pass to Bushler. Two coach against Corver. Kerr, the pass to Bushler. Three on the clock. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Jacks up a three. He's off on that one. Excellent D there from Hill. Passes it to Corver. Hill against Kerr. Hill kicks to Ilias over. Good. The assist goes to Hill. He's got seven. And that's Ilya Silva's shot. He's a deep ball bomber. Korver against Kukoc. Shoots over Korver. Milwaukee with the rebound. Here's onto Takumbo. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Giannis has got 41. Pretty easy right now. Clear out, give him some space, let him get to work. Pass to Kerr, and they get it. It's hauled in by Ilias Ober. And here's Giannis. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Giannis has got 16 points here in the second half. I mean, he is at his best. When it matters most, this game is theirs as long as he can keep this up. 
And there's the pass to Kerr. Here's Bushler. To the inside, Simpkins. Onto Takumbo, pulls it in. Onto Takumbo has got his 18th rebound here tonight, all over the place. Pass to Ilyasova. Outside Corver. Here's Connaughton. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. Great to see Corver getting involved with dimes like that one. He's not just a shooter, he can really pass it too. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Kerr's shot is good. And say what you will about the value of the three-pointer, but those close-in looks are always plan A. Every trip down, get to the paint, get deep, score. Now here is Hill. He's got nine. On the wing, Giannis. Outside Korver. From deep. The rebound by Kerr. And here are the Bulls now. Fifty-five seconds left here in the third quarter. Here's Bushler. The three. He can't get it to go. Here's Connaughton. Here's Ilyasova. And Ilyasova throws it down. And when Ilyasova gets in at the rim, the only thing that's on his mind is how he can finish on a play like that. Passes to Kerr. Here's Bushler. Pass to Simpkins. And stolen by Ilyasova. And up the court come the Bucks on the break. On the Kumbo running. As a big, once you get position inside, it allows you to fight and come away with a lot of tough boards. Nailed from three-point land. Kerr's got five points now in the quarter. Such a nice, compact, repeatable motion there. Kerr is a true floor spacer offensively. And so it's Milwaukee holding an unbelievable lead as the quarter wraps up. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We'll return shortly. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, Greg, is peripheral vision. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. On the court for the Bulls, getting this fourth quarter started. Kerr is out there with Smith. Then it's Simpkins. Then there's Wennington, and it's Bushler. And at the three slot, that one drops for him. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Brown against Smith. The pass to Kerr. Back to Smith. Shot clock at six. From deep three-point range, that one no good. And Milwaukee will come the other way. Here's Brown, but they recover it. Yeah, maybe a little luck, maybe a little bit of heart. Both of those at play here. He's getting every offensive rebound. Here's Wilson, and that's good off the glass that time. And they've gotten very aggressive on the offensive glass here in the second half, getting a lot of second-chance points. Pass to Kerr. And here's Smith. Shoots over Brown. Smith, no luck. And it's the Bucks ball. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. And he gets it to go. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. To the middle. 
Here's Simpkins. And the shot is long. Hill deciding where to go with it. Wilson into the lane. And he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, some of these nights you got to enjoy yourself. Not too much at the expense of the other team, but right now this team is balling. Here's Bushler. Out of bounds, Bulls ball as Chicago keeps possession. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Hill. Dante DiVincenzo. On defense, the Bucks. Nice shot by Smith. What a fantastic move right there. Just that quick little reverse layup. And so Brown will bring it up for the Bucks. To the paint. And Lopez throws it down. At seven feet tall, dunking is very easy for Lopez. Once he's this deep, the defense is in trouble. Brown is checked in for Kerr. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. The free throw off from Lopez. And the fun-loving personality Lopez has makes him a likable teammate. It's clear that they love playing with him. Here's Wilson. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. Now, here is Smith. Pass to Bushler. Back to Smith. Down to five on the shot clock. Milwaukee foul call. That's his first personal foul. And here are the Bulls now. Brown outside. Six to shoot. Smith against Lopez. An effective defender. Lopez is very good at contesting shots without fouling shooters. Yeah, heads up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket. Even Chenzo passes to Wilson. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Knocked loose. Pass to DiVincenzo. And the miss, not the best shot selection there. Fast break, here comes Chicago. Smith outside. The pass to Bushel. Smith feeling it out a bit. Over Corver. A rebound by the Bucks. He's been off the mark, and that hasn't helped them chip away at the lead. It's been a theme here this quarter. Oh, that's great TNT, baby. Uh, Explosive. That was pretty, and he just has that effortless knack for getting inside. Corver against Brown. A teardrop falls in. Brown's got his first points in this one. When a player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. Lopez outside. Pass to DiVincenzo. Shoots over Brown. Even Shenzo can't hit it. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Smith outside. Here's Wennington. It's hauled in by Brown. Here's Milwaukee now. They're on a 14-6 run. Here's DiVincenzo. Shenzo. 
The kick out to Brown. Good on the three-point shot. Defensively, you can't afford to give him that kind of look, especially down this many points. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. Now, here's Brown. Passes it to Bushler. Let's it go from deep. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. Chicago making a switch here. Williams is checked in. Bushler's gone one of four from distance. Here's Brown. Bills in the pass to Brown. Outside for Corver. No good from outside. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Stolen by Wilson. And now here comes Wilson leading the break. Feeds to Lopez. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. They've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that. Here's Simpkins. Lock at six. Pulls moving the ball around. Let's the three fly. And the rebound goes to Lopez. It's been a struggle all night long from deep, but doesn't seem like he's lost his confidence. He's still letting them rip. Pass to DiVincenzo. From 12 feet out, and there it is for him. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Smith outside. Now the pass to Bushler. They can't stop the run with that one. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Left side, Brown. A shot by Wilson, no good. And so Brown will bring it up for Chicago. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. It's going to be on Kyle Korver. And the Bucks making a change here. Hills checked in. The free throw drops for Smith. Here's DiVincenzo. Dishes it to Lopez. Wilson with it. Pass to DiVincenzo. Off target from three-point range. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Bushler, the pass to Smith. It doesn't go for him. Excellent D there from Hill. And now here comes Wilson leading the break. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. At the line for your Bucks, DJ Wilson. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Yeah. 
Yes, so he gets them both. Now Brown. Passes it to Simpkins. The three ball. The rebound by the Bucks. Pass to DiVincenzo. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got three assists in the game. Now here is Smith. And the pass to Bushler for three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Lopez has got his fourth rebound in this one. Just cannot get anything to go. If there's going to be a way to get out of this hole, I don't think he'll be the one to do it. Here's DiVincenzo. He's covered by Brown. Kicks to Smith. Here's Simpkins. Just five to shoot. Tipped away. Shot high post. Tries again, and he sinks the layup. Well, he takes care of salvaging that possession for the offense by getting on the offensive glass. Here's DiVincenzo. He's covered by Brown. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Now here's Williams. Here's Bushler. There's the lob to Brown. 131 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Down low, here's Brown, and Brown throws it down. George Hill recognizing when his man was open, an effective pass that time. And it's the Bulls with the ball. And here is Brown. Pass to Bushler. Six on the shot clock. Smith for three. Here's Williams. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Such a big part of what he does for this team. Just work and work on the boards. Generate second chance opportunities and hopefully convert. Now here's Brown. Bucks passing it around. Here's Wilson. Drops it in from 11 feet. Making every effort to put this game on ice. You love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Hill against Brown. Passes it to Bushler. Fires it up. Rebounded by the Bucks. And since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. Outside Hill. Brown right side. It's back to Hill. Wills in the pass to DiVincenzo. Shoots over Brown. Offline from the top of the key. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. See you next time.